So now we're going to be looking at some past questions to see how to apply the principle that we've learned to solve actual jam questions. So in this first question, we are told that from the figure above, what is the value of P? So I'm going to draw it out, it out so that it can be clear for you to see. So here you have Q and here you have 30 degrees and here you have P plus 2Q. So if you recall on our discussion, we said that when we have two intersecting lines that the opposite angles are equal. So Q is equal to 30. So Q is equal to what? 30 degrees. I know that this angle here must be equal to this angle over here, but we don't know what this angle over here is. But we see that this is a straight line. So we know that this angle, let's call it A, plus this angle over here, which is 30, must be equal to 180 since this is a straight line. So I can write that A plus 30 must be equal to 180. So A is equal to 180 minus 30, and that is equal to 150 degrees. So I know that the value of A is 150 degrees. So now, since these angles are opposite, I can write that P plus 2Q must be equal to 150. I know that Q, I've got it to be 30. So P plus 2 into bracket 13 is equal to 150. So P plus 60 is equal to 150. So P is equal to 150 minus 60. And that is equal to 90 degrees. So the correct option is option T. So now let's move on to the next question. Here we are told that a pentagon has four of its angles equal. So a pentagon is a five-sided polygon. So we have what? One, two, three. One, two, three. Then we have four, five. Yes. So we are told that four of its angles are equal. So let's call the equal angle X, 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 and X. Since they are equal. If the size of the fifth angle is 60, so I the two that the size of this last angle here is 60 degrees, we should find the value of each of the four equal angles. So what is the value of this each of these four equal angles? So the first thing we want to do is to find the sum of all the angles. And if you recall, we say that the sum of angles, sum of angles in a polygon, we said is equal to what? 180 into bracket n minus 2. So now that we have a pentagon, which is a five-sided figure, the total sum of interior angles will be 180 to back it. Number of sides here is 5 minus 2. And that will be 180 times 3, which is equal to 540 degrees. So I know that the sum of all the angles here will be 540 degrees. So I can write that x plus x plus x plus x plus 60 is equal to 514. So I know that 4x is equal to 540 minus 60. So I can write that 4x is equal to 480. And if I divide both sides by 4, I get the value of x to be equal to 120. So this angle of each of these other side, or the value of each of these other angle, x, is 120 degrees. And the correct option in this case is option C. So in this question now, we are told to find the number of sides a regular polygon whose interior angle is twice of the exterior angle. So we are told that the interior angle, interior angle is what? Twice of the exterior angle. If you recall from our discussion, we said that for every polygon that the sum of the exterior angle is always equal to 360. So this is constant. So we know that the sum of exterior angle is 360. But the sum of interior angle is given by what? 180 into bracket n minus 2. In this case, it's equal to 2 times of the exterior angle, which is 360. So I know that 180 into bracket n minus 2 is equal to 2 times 360 is 720. If I divide both sides by 180, this cancel this and i'm left with n minus 2 is equals to 720 over 180 is 4 so n will be equals to 4 plus 2 and n is equals to 6 so this polygon polygon has six sides so the correct option here is option c in the next question we are told that in the diagram the angle of opq angle opq angle opq so that means the angle here is what 
So let me draw it out so that it can be cleared for those that can't see it properly. So you have this, and you have the center here, and you have this here and here, and here you have 74 degrees. So you are told to find the angle here, X, P, and Q. So if you recall, any line from the center of the circle to the body to the circumference is called the radius. So the distance from here to here is the radius, and the distance from here to here is also what the radius. So since they are the radius, that means these two sides are equal. And when they are equal, this means that this is a what? This is an isosceles triangle. And what does it mean? It means that the two angles at the base will also be equal. So if here is angle X, here also will be angle X. We know that the sum of angle in a triangle is 360 degrees. So we can write that 74 plus X plus X. Sorry, the sum of angle in the triangle is 180 degrees is equal to 118. So 2X is equal to 180 minus 74. And what would that be? So I can write that 2X is equal to 106. And if I divide both sides by 2, I have my X value being equal to 53. So the value here is what 53 degree. That means angle OPQ, which is this angle here, is 53 degree. And the correct option in this case is option B. In this question, we are told that from the cyclic quadrilateral TUVW, TUVW, find the value of x, the value of x over here. So let me draw it out so that you can see it clearly. If you can't, so you have a cycle. I have a quadrilateral in it in which you are told that the angle here is 88 degrees and why the angle here is what 3x plus 20 degrees. So if you recall our theorem on cyclic quadrilateral, the sum of opposite angle in a cyclic quadrilateral is equal to 180 degree. So the sum of this angle over here and this angle over here is equal to 180 and the sum of the angle over here and this angle here is 180 since they are opposite. But we are interested in this opposite angle. So we can write that what? 80 plus 88 plus 3x plus 20 is equal to 180 degrees. So I can write 3x plus 88 plus 20 gives me 108 is equal to 118. So I can write 3x is equal to 180 minus 108. So I can write that 3x is equal to 1, 180 minus 108 gives me what? 72. And if I divide both sides by 3, 72 so divided by 3 is 24. So the value of x is what? 24 degrees. And that makes the correct option in this case option C. Yeah, we are told that in the figure below, this figure over here, we should determine the angle marked y this angle over here. So let me draw it out so that you can see it properly. So now you have a cycle over here like this. And you have a cyclic quadrilateral in it. You have don't mind my drawing. Yes. So you have here as 44 degrees and you have here as 70 degrees. I are told to find here which is the value of y. So if we look at this carefully, you can see that at the top over here, I have a triangle, a triangle like this, which I'm going to draw out, in which here is what 44 degrees and here is 70 degrees. So I can find the value of the angle here. So let me call it x. So I can write that word 44 plus x plus 70 is equal to 180 degrees. So x plus 70 plus 44 gives me 114 is equal to 180. So x is equal to 180 minus 114 and that is equal to 66 degree. So the angle over here, this value over here x is what? 66 degree. Same thing as here, 66 degree. So now I know that this is a straight line. This TS is a straight line over here. And I know that the sum of angle in a straight line is what? 180 degree. So I can calculate the angle over here and let me call the angle over here A. So I know that what, or to write it, let me write it as A. And since this is a straight line, I know that 66 plus A must be equal to 180. 
180 degrees. So 66 plus A is equal to 180 degrees. So A is equal to 180 minus 66, and that is equal to what? 114 degree. So A is equal to 114 degree. Now you can see that this is the word cyclic quadrilateral in which I have the four edges of the quadrilateral touching the circumference. So what do I know? I know that the sum of opposite angles must be equal to 180 degrees. So the sum of this angle and this angle must be 180. Same thing, the sum of this angle and this angle must be 180. So I can write for this opposite angle. So I can write that y plus 114 must be equal to 180 degrees. So y is equal to 180 minus 114 and that gives me 66 degrees. So the correct option of the value of this angle wire y is a which is 66 degrees. So here yeah, now we are told that from the diagram above we should find the value x. We should find the value of x and x is over here. So I'm going to draw that out again so that it can be clear for those that can't see it. And I apologize for the quality of these pictures over here as I can grab them from the jump pass question. So that is why they are not really clear. So you have this and you have this passing through the center over here. So you have a straight line in this fashion and this is the straight line over here. And you have this coming towards the tangent and this over here. And I thought that the angle here is what? 25 degrees. Now you are asked to find the value of x. Now, if you recall, when you have a straight line such as this moving through the center of the circle and the diameter, the angle that is being subsided on the circumference is equal to 90 degrees. So you can go back and check the circle theorem to see what I mean by that. So since this line is passing through the center of the circle, so this is the diameter, so the angle subsided here will be 90 degrees. So you know that the angle over here is what is 90 degrees. Now, I can find the angle over here. So now I know that this angle plus this angle plus this angle. So let me call here A is equal to what? 180 degrees. So I can write that what? 90 plus 25 plus A is equal to 180. So this plus this gives me 115 plus A is equal to 118. So A is equal to 180 minus 115. And that is equal to 65 degrees. So the angle over here is 65 degrees. Now, to recall one of the theorem that we discussed, we said that if you have a cycle, I have a tangent passing through the cycle, or touching the cycle with tangent, I have a triangle inscribed in the cycle such as this, that the angle here is synonymous is equal to the angle at the opposite segment. So if there is a, the angle here will be equal to a also. So if we look at this diagram over here, we can see that this is a tangent over here. Now this is a triangle that is being in which one of the edges is on the tangent of this is on the tangent, and we can see that since this angle here is x, then the angle here also which is at the opposite segment must be equal to the angle that is here so this is just like this diagram but it's inverted so if here is x here must also be equal to x and since we have gotten here to be 65 it means that the value of this angle here is also equal to what 65 degrees so the value of x is equal to 65 degrees so one thing to mention is that as you can see we just have to apply the theorem so the first step is that you need to really know the theorems and not only know the theorems, you need to know them even when the shapes are inverted or turned in different orientation so that you can apply them effectively. Now let's move on to the last question we'll be looking at. Here yeah, we are told that in the diagram below that PQR, PQR is a straight line and PS is a tangent to the cycle. PS is a tangent. Cycle QSR. With PS is equal to SR. So I thought that the distance PS, this distance here, is equal to SR. So this line over here is equal to this line over here. So to draw that out so that you can see it clearly, you have a circle over here. I will have a line, a tangent over here. 
I have a line that moves through here and passes through the circle to the circumference over here. And we have here being 40 degrees. So that this point is Q, this point is O, this point is R, this point is S, and this point is P. And the angle here is what? Now we are told that this line SR, this line over here, is equal to this line PS. So the question now tells us to find angle PSQ. So angle PSQ. Angle PSQ now is this angle that I'm going to indicate with this orange angle device. So here, yeah, angle PSQ. So as you can see you have PSQ. So this angle over here. And let me just call it X for the case so that we can have simplicity. So now I've labeled it as X. So now I've been told that the line PS is equal to the line SR. So what does that say about this triangle? So I'm going to draw that, that triangle out. So I have a triangle like this. And we have this. And we have this. And I told that these lines are equal. So this is my S, this is my P, and this is my R. And I told that here is 40. So what does that mean? This is an, is what, this is an isosceles triangle because I have two sides that are equal. And that means that the angle that my base will also be equal. So if here is 40 degrees, here also will be what? 40 degrees. So by definition, this angle over here will be what? 40 degrees. So now, if you call the cycle theorem, and I'm going to draw it out, that states that if you have a cycle, and you have a tangent to the cycle, and you have a triangle inscribed in the cycle, that this angle here is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So it's equal to the angle in the opposite segment. So the same thing applies here. So if here is x, then it means that the angle in the opposite segment, which is the angle here, will be equal to what is here. So if here is 40, it indicates that the angle here also is 40. So here we can write that what x is equal to 40 degrees. So the correct option to this question is option A. So one thing to mention and that is evident by now is that without knowing these cycle theorems by heart, it is almost impossible to be able to solve questions that have to do with them. So what I would recommend is that you try to memorize them. And not only should you memorize them, you should also try to practice a lot of questions so that you can know how to apply them correctly, irrespective of the shape or the orientation. And when you are able to apply them appropriately, then I would suggest that you go to the past question and look for additional questions in which you can tackle. However, some questions have been given some exercises, so you can try to work through them and also get additional questions from the past question so that you can hone your skills to solve questions that have to do with Euclidean geometry. So that will be all for now. Bye.